aqua male. So this little guy did extremely well on the release aspect of the chest. You can see that his tail is not like up and over his back wagging happily, but he has enough confidence and uh, pushed through on his own to come out. Uh, it was a slow walk to me, but he pretty well came to me. You could see on the video that he almost took a little careful step onto the mat, so he's quite thoughtful and uh, careful. He's uh, doing really well. Some puppies just sit there and, uh, and can't push through on their own. They just stay there or, get, or shut down completely. So a lovely level of confidence. And uh, <laughs> I'm waiting for you to actually come and say hi to me. You can hear my voice. He has a beautiful expression on his face. He's quite uh, curious. So this is the first time that this puppy has... Uh, are you going to come see me? So he, the first time he's been taken away from his litter mates and carried across a cold parking lot. It's really cold this morning. Hi. So I'm going to give him some affection to let him know that I'm a good thing in the room. And uh, we'll go from there. So he, uh, like I said, he w he's never been in this room before, he's never met me before. So it's quite similar to what you're going to experience when you take him home. Um, so if we can make this a happy uh, thing for him, uh, you'll be one step ahead when you take him home. So I'm, I'm not going to really encourage him to uh, come to me. If he comes, I will say hi and uh, give him some affection and then stop. But I really want him to tell us if he's more social or more environmentally focused. Hello, little man. What do you think of all this? Hmm? What do you think of all this? Yeah? If I just had my dinner, everything was normal, and then... Hey, what a pretty little face you have. So he's very gentle. Uh, small kisses, uh, no teeth yet. <laughs> I say yet because most puppies use their teeth at points, say. Eh? Very good. So I'm going to go really quiet and not say anything and see if he stays with me.
so he's he's mouthing my toes but uh sometimes puppies explore their world with their mouth uh but they there are exercises like no teeth on skin in your happy puppy training kit that you should uh, work on and uh, get him to learn that at an early age But it's really, no, at this point, no different than him walking over to this and biting it, or that. So at this point, I would have to say that he's uh, more environmentally focused. Uh, he's lovely when he's with me. Um, but he's quick to leave and he hasn't come back yet. He's really uh, checking out his surroundings. I hope he's still on the video. It's hard to capture the whole room <coughs> on my camera. But he is just uh, walking around sniffing things. Yes, so at this point, uh, it may change throughout the test, but uh, he's definitely more environmental. He's not looking to me for any kind of support or help or... Uh, he's confident enough that he doesn't need to be with me. So he's staring over in the corner of the heating unit just came on. So at this exercise is to see if he will follow me or... Puppy come, puppy come, yes puppy, puppy come, puppy come, yes, come on then, let's just walk around, he's not sure what I want from him, so this is the type of exercise that you would do in your house, puppy, puppy come, puppy come, Puppy come. No. Nope. So I want you want to be able to take him somewhere and he know where you are. He knows where you are. So if you go to a friend's house and you're at a barbecue, he should, you know, be able to go and explore and have fun by himself. But he should know where you are. And uh, this is the kind of the start of your calm exercise. So we're going to give him a little treat just to reinforce what I want from him. Hey puppy. Puppy come. Puppy come. Yes puppy. Puppy come, look. Yes. No, he doesn't really want to come to me. Puppy come. Very indirect. No interest in my treats. Oh, there we go. So what you would do with this exercise is to walk around in a, a room in your house and get him to come check in with you. Puppy, come. And then you can take it outside. Puppy, come. Good boy. Good boy. Here. So you're going to praise him uh, highly for coming? Hey, good boy. Where is it? Did you eat it already? There it is. So you can see uh, 
about having a difficulty getting him to connect me, but he's th he's thinking about it. Puppy down. Puppy down. <laughs> Why do you have to come the back road? Why do you have to come, good boy? Here. Boy, what's this? He's very interested in where he is. So you can imagine if you have uh, this kind of uh, leg <laughs> by the time he comes, you can imagine what he would be like outside. Puppy come. Yes, puppy. Getting more excited, puppy. So you can imagine if you tried to just take him outside and uh, get his attention. It would be very difficult. So with this little guy, you're going to get this connection in the house uh, till he understands. You can see he's better already. Yes. He's not quite coming direct to me. Very good. Very good. Come close. No. But you can see he's watching me a little bit more. Puppy come. Puppy come. <laughs> Puppy come. So you're going to have to find something that he truly, really likes. I think he might even be trying to go to the bathroom. Or find a place. Come here, come here. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I saw that coming, little man. It's all right. You just have to get it. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, ready to start again? Let's go. Let's go. Yay! Come on, puppy. Come on, puppy. So you can see he's almost more uh, responsive. Come on, puppy, puppy, puppy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. He's very... <laughs> Not sure of the heating noise. He keeps looking over there. The heating unit. Yay! So I. Come on, puppy. I'd like him to come at least <laughs> once. <laughs> come on, puppy. Yay! 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 How indirect is that? You're gonna go again. He's gonna go again. He's gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can get this out of the way and you'll be more. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Good try. Okay. Now we have that out of the way. Are you going to try it better? Come on, puppy. Come on, puppy. Come on, puppy. Puppy, go. Puppy, go. So you did, I have used treats, I have used my voice. We're going to have to find something that really works. Good man. Good boy. Good boy. 
So I keep repeating myself. You have to get this established in, in your house before you take it outside. If you can't get him to come to you now, yay! Yay! Can you imagine trying to get him when you're outside with all the stimulus that's outside? Are you going to come? Puppy, puppy! <laughs> Yay! Yay, puppy! Puppy, puppy! Yay! Yay! Good boy! Here. So, like, he's liking my treats, he's eating my treats. Maybe try to find something that he actually really, really likes. I would up my energy level, but I'm not sure he is. A, yay! I'm not sure he's understanding. Yay! Yay! Good boy! Good boy! Yay! See, now he's got the idea. That's what we want. So you can see the change just in a few minutes. So you just have to work with them. And I, yay! Yay! Good boy! Yes! Very good! Excellent! So it took a little minute. He just didn't know what I wanted. But now he's absolutely perfect. Yay! <laughs> and no treats that time. No treats for a couple of times. So please just uh, continue that exercise at home. And then take it outside in the backyard. And then when he does it in the backyard, super puppy. Take it, uh, then you can take it outside. <laughs> Yay. Very good. So this part of the test, I'm checking his patience and his tolerance. So he again has got slightly little movement, uh, but basically he's doing a wonderful job. The little movement at the beginning I think was just to get comfortable, because he's got a beautiful expression on his face. And now we'll see if that upset him. Absolutely not. So wonderful job. He's quite nice and, <laughs> quite nice and pati patient. Let's see what you do with this. Is this too much right away? And a ball. What's this? What's this? Very good. So, very curious as to what the noise is. Very good. Puppy brain. Puppy go. No, and he's off. So, keep playing this game. He was interested. Um, Fetch, of course, is a great uh, exercise for body and mind and a connection. Something you can do together. What's this? What's this? Okay. I don't know if he's smelling my treat, the treats on my hands, or he's just not interested in this. Now he wants to be social. And he did not do that too fast. <laughs> now you want to be with me. There you go. Yes. Good boy. So he came back, but he didn't bring it. But just keep playing. He will get it. Huh? The, the fact that he caught on to that exercise so quickly, I don't think you'll have any trouble getting him to play with you at all. <laughs> now he wants me. So the uh, treat test that we do is just to see if he gets overexcited. Uh, um, of course, he didn't get overexcited because I used the treats uh, at the beginning, so he's already had the treat. So we're just going to see if he's able to concentrate. Ah, yes? Look at this. Can you see this here? I don't know. I'm hoping you can see it. Whoops. <laughs> 
I have a three-year-old uh, poodle at home, and I still do this with her. It's a lot of fun. Look, look. So, can you see this? So we kind of knew that he would do that because uh, he did not get overstimulated when we were using them uh, to uh, help uh, with the following exercise. So he quite methodically just pushed the cup over. So again, the trainability's there. <laughs> yes, nice and calm. So you definitely uh, can use treats with this little fellow. <laughs> and that was the whole thing, to see if he'd get too excited. Mm -hmm. So he's, quite, he's a little more connected to me now. I just took him that little bit. So you might find that when you take him home, that he might uh, take that little bit to, you know, come out of his shell. <laughs> Can you get this? You need to go away from me now, which is really kind of... <laughs> so he did stop and startle. That was, uh, that's a, he should do because it was a, a sudden noise. It's how he recovers that's uh, more important. Um, he's kind of looking for, he's not coming to me for support. He's kind of like looking to see where the noise came from. But there are no, there's no uh, fear type actions from him. Like he's not uh, tail tucked, he's, he's not running away, he's not crying. He's uh, slowly coming around by himself. Very good. So, so a very good reaction. Um, he, he needs to kind of push through uh, things like that by himself. Um, you wouldn't pick him up and coddle him and say, oh, poor puppy, because then he would never learn to uh, be independent or confident. So he did a really good job on that. Hey, did you do a good job? He is, a, he is sort of hanging around, but he had started to do that before. What's that? What's that? Ooh, Lee, what's that? He's kind of looking for the little treat bits here. Look at this puppy. Good boy. So not... Uh, So this is really good. He's quite curious. He's not, <laughs> he wants to play with it. He's not really, um, very, very good. Very, very good. So he's lovely, uh, very interactive, and um, just keep introducing new things to him. New sounds, new noises and motions. And <laughs> what would you like? You can see now that he's quite connected, which is really nice. So it won't take long at all. Okay, it won't take long at all. So the last thing that we do with this little fellow is a, a natural prey drive. So this is really quite nice. He's not really interested. Kind of interested. It's taking me a lot to entice him to come and get it. There we go. So he has a fairly low prey drive. He's, he'll go for it, but then he gives it up. A lot of puppies by now would have jumped on it. And so now that he's got it, what are you going to do with it? Hmm? So no real kill shake. So he's, 
he's like low to medium because he was kind of attached to it once he got the idea. So there are those exercises in your puppy training kit that will um, like watch me and drop it, leave it. Exercises that will get his attention back on you should he get distracted. So absolutely wonderful job. I hope you enjoy. Hmm? Good boy.